In the world of boxing, rematches often hold a special place. It is really a chance at redemption to correct mistakes and to prove your worth in the ring. One such rematch grabbing the attention of Guyanese boxing fans is the match between Elton Darry and Dexter Marks. And of course, uh, as we've been doing, we are trying to get uh, into the mindset and uh, the physical conditioning of Dexter Marks. He is here with me in studio along with his manager, Keola Hickson, and his coach, Seabort Blake. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, man. Thank you for welcoming me to your studio. Next, it's always a pleasure speaking with you. And, you know, my favorite question, how are you feeling mentally going forward to this match? Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for inviting me. Um, feeling mentally, I'm, I'm good. Um, you know, try to put everything in place towards this fight because this fight means a lot to me. And like I said, I have my, my, my coaches and I have my team. Working to do the best thing possible for come out successful in this fight. So, what changes have you made since the last match against this opponent? Yeah, I have a lot of, a lot of stuff from for David, but um, like I say again, um, I'll leave it to my coach and that's working on my coach. How how do you um mean the person that will be in the ring against Dari plan to capitalize? on Dari's weaknesses? <clears throat> well, I'll leave that to the coach, Jim. Have you studied the footage um, between yourself and Dari um, a decade ago? Yeah, look at, look at the mistake I make, but um, like I said again, um, me and my coach and my team, we sit down and we discuss what we will do. Whatever them decide, I was willing to work around with them and come to the What have you observed in that match? I observe a lot of things, my fault. As more, you know, I was more young in my career, and you know, a boxer and a boxer is going into boxing. You grow to be more mature in the boxing by years by years go. I mean, you get a lot more into it. So apart from being young, what else did you observe? The mistakes that you were mentioning? Yeah, make a lot of mistakes, but um, like again, leave that for me correct in my in my team. How do you, you know, a lot of persons are anticipating this match. Um, the media is going crazy with this match, blowing it all over. Many persons are asking for it. Many persons have been asking for this match. How do you plan on observing all of that pressure and the expectation of a win in this match? Well, like I say again, I know I have plans because, you know, I was acting back for this match for the past year and it do come. I mean, I just want to um, sit down with my team and just do what I got to do best for me to come out successful for me. Well, what specific goal do you have in this fight? I mean, everybody, all boxes want to win. No, they do the guy do. And apart from winning, how will this elevate your career? Yeah, it, it, put, it, it make me change my whole life for me because it put me in number one, in the number one top, top, top five for being there close for what I can. And how confident are you leading up to this fight that you will get the W come that night? I'm so confident because I was asking for the fight since two years ago. And, you know, I always believe in myself. And most of I go into boxing, give me more confidence in myself to do what I do. You're not the first person that would have requested a rematch and have gotten it. Many other fighters requested rematches and they lost. So what is it you think that you have that will secure that victory? Well, see, many fighters, this, this, this fight was, you know, this them, them lost. But um, after the month, you know, it's no loss for me. It does victory. That's victory. And coming to you, Coach Blake, um, what specific techniques and strategies have you been working on with um, Marks to counter that to, um, Dari's strengths? Um, first, um, thank you for um, having us on the, um, the program. Um, well, in terms of techniques, um, Dexter and Dari fought over a decade ago, right? To be specific, for 13 years. Um, over those years, Dexter been in a lot of matches where he came out successful in those matches. Um, 
and I would say at higher level or high level boxing. I'm not taking me any Gandhari, he fought at high level also. So over the years, Dex have grown. He have improved his boxing techniques, his skills, his, his tactics have been improved. And what we're going to do, because like I said, both of them are, are they have matured in the, in the sport. So we're going to take this time. We have a few um, few weeks. To be exact, we have um, 12 weeks um, to come to um, fight night. Uh, we're going to take the time to, I would say, fine-tune Dexter in all areas that we um, we see possible to make him that champion come the 20th. So, Coach, you would have reviewed the footage also, and you would have cited the weaknesses um, in Mark's um, stance against Dari then and also the fights leading up to this rematch. You would have cited some weaknesses. How do you tend, um, how, how do you plan rather to address those weaknesses? Uh, yes, we, we I, 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 um, for me, I was in, the, I was in Dexter Canal at the last um, encounter between him and Dari. And I even worked with Dari a couple of times in preparation for his fights when he comes to lo on the local shows. Um, so, yes, there are many things that we're going to do to make some changes from the last time. Like I said, it's over 10 years ago. Um, Dari improved. Um, Dex improved. And, um, like I said, Dari, each box has some basic things that they keep going. It's a consistency with their career. And we're going to look at those things for Dari and um, try to um, put together a strategy to overcome it. But it's difficult. It is difficult because Dari is a very strong young fighter. All right, coach. Um, what changes have you made in terms of a physical conditioning and stamina training for Dexter? The the, the conditioning and strengthening. Like I said, we have time. Um, we put in a, a program together. We have a team on board from Nutritious Rideung to get in us to the um, optimal strength and and condition so we have a lot of things in place um don't want to give out much but for sure that should come come into the um to the night of boxing in the best of condition the best shape of his life he will be coming there he said changes some of the changes that we made we bring we bring out we bring, we bring in some stronger sparring point for dexter because we know that is a strong person the last time we didn't take him too um serious but this time we have to take him serious because it's very important to Dexter's career. And so we're going to bring, we'd be putting all the crossing all the eye, dotting all the eyes and crossing all the T's for sure. And how important is it for Dexter to have a balance between offensive aggression and defensive tactics? Well, um, as you guys may observe Dexter over the years, Dexter can do both. Um, side of fighting, he's been taught that from a young age to box when it's necessary and to fight when it's necessary. And like you, you ask for the balance. The type of person that he is, he's mostly of a um, flat-footed fighter, powerful fighter. So we're gonna try to see how best we can utilize that the opportunity to overcome both of his um, his strengths, which is a flat-footed, powerful fighter. How do you assess um, Dari's fighting style? I know you mentioned he's a flat-footed, uh, powerful fighter, but how do you assess his overall fighting style? Um, and how do you plan to counter that to ensure Dexter has the edge? Um, like I said, um, Dexter's both, um, he can box and he can fight. Um, the, 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 going into the fight, we have to create, a, we have to have our tactics how to deal with Dari because, like I said, there is dyna he's dynamic, he can change too. I don't know what the coach is because he sees the excel over the years, likewise. Both. So you can find they may come with a different strategy, so we may have to make changes in the fight. So I would say we can be working all around to get the extra in um, top shape to be able to box when it's necessary and fight when it's necessary to come out successful. Will his experience play a major part in him getting the win? Yes, greatly. Um, over the, like I said, over the years, Dexter have fought numerous fights, title fights, you know, and come out success and came out successful. So, with those experience, Dexter gain, he going to go into this fight with Derry with a plus, with a plus. Came in off his last bout, he came off with a um, knockout, I think it's a fourth round knockout. 
you know, that tells the extra um, have the necessary uh, punch of power. Also, you may have to accumulate them, but they do have the power. So, yes, um, Dex is going to be in shape and ready for the fight. Do you think this rematch has the potential to continue a long-standing rivalry between the two boxers? Well, I know about all the trilogies and thing in boxing. This is Dexter and, and Dari's second bout. With a win for Dexter, the, if Dari wants a tour, we can go. We will go if they need it, right? But our main goal is getting next the win. The win. Let's go say we go balance one one. But our main goal is getting the win. All right, thank you, Coach. Moving on to you, um, Miss Manager Kiola Hickson. How are you managing Dexter's recovery session? I know he said that he's been training five days a week um, to ensure he recovers. How, how are you managing that? Okay, so it should be known that it's not just um, me as the manager um, takes the role in that. It's a team and he has um, Coach Blake, he has Coach Barker and Champagne by his side um we all have been working in various areas to ensure that he has the necessary requisites in place to support him be, being successful in this fight um like coach mentioned before a nutrition plan is being worked on ensuring that he has um adequate rest that is very important the stretches um, from nutrition to um, cons consumption of fluids because, you know, if the body is dehydrated, then it gives a terrible effect on doing anything. So um, the team is managing everything that needs to be done as it relates to um, health and getting in shape for this fight. As I would have mentioned before that a lot of persons are have been and are calling for this rematch. What, what is it do you tell Dexter to ensure that he maintains his composure even though there is a, a lot of pressure from persons out there, sports enthusiasts, boxing fans? Well, sport. We know in any sport, you will have persons that will support you and you're going to have persons that is going to support the opponent. So it does not matter. What matters, you know what you bring to the table. And you have your team working with you. You're getting that, the support that you need. And so it is very important for him to stay calm and not be irritated or get upset about any comment made by any individual. Because we're not going to talk this. On the day of the fight, we're going to see who's going to be victorious. And so that is where he needs to stay, stay humble and do what he has to do. And we know that it's going to be victorious for him. Right. Coach, coming back to you, um, as you would have mentioned, and we all know in the last fight um, that Dexter had, he knocked out his opponent in the fourth round. Do you foresee a knockout in the match between Dexter and Dari? In the sport of boxing, I'll... Um... Both both opponents what would be looking forward for oil knockout in the fight. Um, we were glad to have an oil knockout, but for sure we are preparing for twelve rounds. We know Dari is a very strong opponent. He's a very strong fighter, smart guy. So for sure we're gonna prepare for twelve rounds. If the knockout come, guarantee we're gonna take it. So you're preparing for the full length, yeah. But the hoping if it, if the knockouts come, now we we're not hoping. But if a knockout come, we're going to take it, hands down. Now, do you feel that you'll knock him out, Dexter? Yeah, I'd leave that for the ring. You'll leave that, leave that for the ring. Yes, I understand that, but, but you've been training. Your coach has been putting in a lot of work, the management I team. I myself, like before I was saying, you know, I don't like to do too much of it. I don't like to do too much of talking. I leave all the talking for the night of the fight. Any last words um, for your fans that may be watching? Well, you know, the world, the world at large, know me. Um, the seen my ability for the past couple of years. They know what I'm capable to do. And, you know, they know coming 20th, they know well, um, they get the next marks is get this. And you, Coach, what do you want to say to those sports fans 
that will be anticipating this fight? Um, I've been around boxing for quite a month, quite a month of time, and um, this bout or this fight, um, if it do come off, it will be a big fight for Guyana. I don't think they ever had such a big fight in terms of two major um world bodies um major titles it's not a world title but it's um it's just below the world title on the local side um for male fighters especially so i think guyana need to come out guyana when i say guyana me i'll hear three thousand square mile come from anywhere just come down full national stadium you know that we have his supporters from leg one and the Islands along the Eskibo. Um, Dexa have his fans in it, and it's a fire uh, by song. You know them. The police, not, he's a national police coach. The police coming out in full force. I'm sure, I'm sure the police are going to come out in full force. And the kids run the, from, from the Forgotten Youth Foundation team who we brought, where Dexa came out from. We're going to be there in our full force to support Dexa. Guarantee we're going to have a park house on our side. We hope that we have his park house there too to support him. But it's going to be a big fight. I'm guarantee it's not going to be easy night for Dari. All right. Gentlemen and ladies, thank you very much for being here. And of course, the thanks to Impressions for um, assisting us greatly here. Until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.